Hey guys, today's video is going to be a review on these three face products by Neutrogena. First up is the new Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. This is in the shade Medium to Deep. This is moisturizing retinol treatment with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 20 and it claims to even skin tone. This is a one fluid ounce tube and I got this at Ulta for $13.99. On the back it says combines retinol, SPF 20 moisturizers, and blendable sheer coverage to give you beautiful younger looking skin even after you take it off. Instantly erases the look of imperfections, smooths out skin's texture, and reduces the appearance of fine lines. Gives skin a natural dewy finish. So this is the product that I am wearing on my face today. It does have a really nice light dewy finish to it, so I did decide to set this with a press powder. It gives about a light to medium finish. It evens up my skin tone beautifully. It covers up the redness that I have on my skin. My skin is pretty clear at the moment. I don't have too many dark spots, which is why I went for a sheer product like this. I think this is a really great product if you have dry skin because it does have a dewy finish. If you have oily skin, this may not be the best choice for you. I do have normal skin and an oily T-zone. My oil does pierce through this eventually after a couple of hours, so I do have to follow it up with a pressed powder, but for the most part, I'm really pleased with the look and feel of it. I do really like the packaging. This comes with a pump. It's really great for travel. This does have a light scent to it. It has a florally scent. The scent does linger but I do really like it so I don't mind it. The color did fit me really well so I was really pleased with that. I believe this is the darkest shade that they have medium to deep. I'm really pleased with it and I would definitely recommend it. Next up is another brand new product at the drugstore. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Complexion Perfector. This is in the shade Deep 50 and this claims to provide sheer coverage while clearing breakouts. This is a one fluid ounce tube and this has salicylic acid acne treatment in it. This retails for $9.99 at Ulta. So the claims of this product is fights acne and provides even coverage to correct skin's complexion, blends naturally with your skin to instantly blur the look of acne and minimize appearance of pores, matte finish controls shine, won't clog pores. So this is a tinted moisturizer. It gives similar coverage to this product, but the coloring is really off with this. It has a really deep undertone. Um, so the color deep was too dark for me. I think this is going to be a perfect summer shade for me so I definitely need to go up to the shade medium. This is similar in coverage so it gives a light to medium coverage. I do like the fact that this has a matte finish to it so you don't have to worry about setting it. This also covered up the redness on my skin, it evened up my skin tone, and it felt really lightweight on my face. So depending on what you're looking for and what your needs are, I feel like you could pick and choose between these two products. If you're looking for anti-aging, then go with the healthy skin. And if you're suffering from acne, then go with the skin clearing. Again, I do really like the packaging of this. It's really sleek, it's small, and you could carry this around with you for travel. The very last product is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup blemish treatment with salicylic acid. This is a foundation. This is one fluid ounces. This is a glass jar and I have it in the shade caramel. So this is not a new product. It's been in the drugstore for a few years now. They did recently add four new deeper shades. Originally they did not cater to my skin tone so I wasn't able to try this product out. So they initially had 12 shades, they added on 4 new shades, so they now have 16 shades. The claims of this foundation are won't clog pores, control shine with natural looking coverage, rapidly cuts through oil for fast acne relief. So this also gives a light to medium coverage. It does have a really beautiful powdery look to it so it goes from a liquid to a powder it dries beautifully on the skin i usually only set my t-zone with this because my t-zone is oily it looks really beautiful on the skin and it holds up throughout the day 
I usually see my blush and my bronzer still on my skin at the end of the day with this product so it's really nice I do think the newer shades still run a little bit light so I do feel like I should have gone a shade down this is slightly too light for me so definitely keep that in mind when you're picking out the shade but overall I did really like this sheer foundation that's it for this review thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye